You ever have those peaceful nights where you're just sleeping and dreaming of Minecraft and you're building up a giant mob farm and the now oh, wait a second, this thing's really ugly. That couldn't be my dream because in my dream, I built up an epic looking mob farm in a castle. So that's what we're gonna be doing today, guys. But before getting to today's video, guys, I wanna thank today's sponsor, Opera GX. Opera GX is an amazing browser made specifically with gamers such as yourself in mind. I personally love Opera GX because I mean, the entire thing is just customizable. You can personalize with different wallpapers and even some are animated. Like for example, they got Minecraft ones. Now I personally like this one a lot because it's very peaceful. You got the nice little farms overlooking the river and the river's all moving. And you know how it goes. Animated wallpapers are superior wallpapers. But like I said before, guys, this was made with gamers in mind. When you're playing games and you got other browsers open that are just sucking up all of your computer's juice, the inside of your computer, it kind of just looks like this. But, well, your computer's not going to be like that with Opera GX because Opera GX is made specifically to not use a lot of resources while you're gaming. By that, I mean you could literally even cap how much data you want to use from your internet or even how much RAM you want to limit so that Opera GX isn't going to use more resources than you even allow. But that's not all, guys, because Opera GX got this awesome little GX corner. Now, the GX corner is a very unique thing. It's so unique that if you download Opera GX from my special link down in the description you will actually be able to have my channel featured on your GX Corner. All my recent videos will be there for you. Not only that, but you could also find a bunch of gaming news, also some even free games. So the GX Corner is a pretty handy tool. So make sure you guys use my link down in the description, download Opera GX, poke around a little bit, because trust me, it's actually a really, really good browser. And I personally do actually like it a lot. And the fact that it doesn't suck up your computer resources while gaming is huge. So make sure you guys download Opera GX, use my link down in the description, description guys and let's get on to the video and not only do i envision this mob farm being in a castle but i also envisioned it being in the ocean because well that's just literally how my brain operates i literally think of everything and i'm like put it in water one day i do want to fully expand out this little villager farm thing but also i need to build my base one day which is also gonna be in water i like water speaking of make sure you're hydrated now me, I hydrate with G Fuel. It's delicious, scrumptious, and then, oh yeah, you guys aren't supposed to see the shaker cup yet. Um, now nine times out of 10, I always end up building all of my castles and buildings and structures and such things as that out of spruce because, well, I like spruce, it's the best wood. I'm thinking about changing it up because building it in the ocean and in the water, you can really get some good color contrast going. So I'm thinking about using acacia wood. Yeah, I know, probably gonna get some hate for that. Now, my first problem being, I don't know where an acacia forest is in this world. Like, I mean, it's still a new world. We're only like, what, five episodes into it, I think? I don't know. Anyways. Aha! Acacia wood. Finally. It's only taking me forever. Now, the only problem with chopping down these trees is I can't just grow like a giant thick tree, like a spruce tree. I'm going to be here forever and, and ever. <laughs> Ah, there we go. A nice barren wasteland. Not a single tree in sight. Wait, hold on a second. Ah, that's not acacia wood, though. We're good. Now, hopefully, this should be a plenty of wood for building up castle that I'm envisioning. And now, like I said, my goal for building up this castle is to build it in the water. But I want it to be, like, just on the surface. Because I want, like, a part of it to go underwater. And then I want it to look castle above the water. And then above the water will also be, like, storage room. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm also going to need, like, a million blocks of dirt. So, um... Let's just go ahead and ruin some more Minecraft rain. Um, so now, essentially, all I need to do is create a giant platform just on the water. So I just realized how annoying, like, all the stupid help is. And now uh, you got to get rid of it. Stupid mow the lawn. There we go. Now we should be good to go. All I got to do is place down a million dirt blocks. Yeah, 
And now that we got our gigantic platform all set up for this castle, what I'm probably going to start doing is outlining the entire thing. I want it to have that like kind of four walls effect, you know, where it's like safe on the inside. But I also want there to be a watchtower portion that'll be much larger and off to the side. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see what I come up with that. <laughs> Okay, now this is the outline that I've pretty much come up with. And I've kind of already mapped out like the entrance. There's going to be two of them, one over there, one over here. So that when I fly in from the, the mountain base, I can be able to easily walk right in. And then the mob farm is essentially going to be right here in the middle. And so each one of these is going to be, you know, the towery castle-y peak thing. I, I don't know how to, you know, the watchtower type things. Except this one over here is like double the size. It's much bigger. And this one, originally I was thinking like making it storage room you know like fill it up with a ton of chests and use that as my storage room until one day i build up my actual storage room kind of procrastinating what you do in minecraft you know it's a fresh world you gotta procrastinate but each corner basically has its own little watchtower thing except for the giant one that that one will be special now it is pretty much time to just basically build up all the walls all the windows and fully assemble this beautiful thing i well i hope i, I really hope it's gonna be beautiful i mean we'll we'll see Duh. Now, officially, the castle is finished being constructed. Now, honestly, this thing kind of turned out really cool. If I'll be completely honest, I I've normally don't build anything this cool. We have some minor flaws that I realized uh, after finishing it, though. And that is, well, I can't really, like, get up hop, like, up there. Um, but I did build it so that you could go up here. It's just actually getting up here, you know, is the problem. Got, like, these pathways that go from one tower to the other. Climb up this little staircase, you go to a taller tower, and then that tower is the same height and that one's kind of like a dummy tower um i did make it so that you could go inside of each and every single one of them though and like hang some lanterns i, I kind of ran out uh i guess we should just probably place a couple torches in the meantime and now my goal here is that smack dab right in the middle of this thing is going to be the mob farm all the way in the sky that is now that'll make sense soon but not right now i know um i am also even contemplating just moving into this thing because it is really big you got this nice little doorway which opens up into another room up here which is all nice nice and safe up here again it, the, you got the downstairs originally i was gonna make this tower the storage room the, the the temporary storage room until we build up our mega base because i've never in my life built a mega base in minecraft and now by that i mean literally a gigantic base normally it's like i'll build you know a decent sized house and then i'll just you know survive in it but i'm trying to thrive in this world and that's why i built like a giant castle just to be a mob farm but until we build up our giant mega ocean base this is what we got to work with which actually it's about time we start on the next part which is the mob farm and also the collection system i should probably work on the collection system what i wanted to do is make it so that the collection system goes down into the water and now that i'm thinking about it i did realize that this this is going to be a very op mob farm and it's going to be collecting a lot of items so i do need to make sure i have a lot of chests and a lot of storage for it now my original plan for this is to basically build a glass bubble underneath the water kind of like we did with the villager trading hall and just do it completely underwater and then i gotta completely drain it and then now i can finally set up oh, wait, hold on and then now I could set up all the chests, which now that I think about it, I might want to make an auto sorter. There's going to be a lot of items, like, like a lot. I want to make sure that there is plenty of storage for all of this. But now with all the storage out of the way, how do I, how do I build an auto sorter again? I'm like brain farting so hard because I have to build the auto sorter portion at the very top of the chest, which means I'm going to need a little bit more room. Now for the auto sorting portion or rather the redstone stuff, essentially what I'm going to have to do is basically like punch a wall right there i think let's see if i could just break it in between and then i have to put all the redstone stuff back there which means i'm gonna have to slice off like another little chunk and now i mean this thing's gonna be ugly and no one's really gonna know about it really except for you guys like you guys won't call it ugly right you guys won't won't tell on me gotta drain it all out and now we should have plenty of room for all the redstone all i need to do is place all the comparators on the other side of the hoppers and then i'll have to 
place down a bunch of repeaters right here, some blocks on top of them, and then redstone all the way around it, and some torches right underneath the comparators. And hopefully that should be it. And then essentially all I need to do is cover up this entire area with hoppers all the way around it. Which actually, uh, now that I think about it, I don't know if this is gonna work. We'll find out. And then now with all the storage out of the way, my goal here is to pretty much just connect the storage room right here to the bottom of the big tower. And then I could just easily cover up all the hoppers with some carpet and do some decorating and stuff. But like I said, I do wanna attach it to kind of like the main big building over here. So firstly, I'm gonna replace the floors and I'll just continue with the stone brick since I mean, it does got that kind of castle-y energy. Except now that I think about it, I do wanna try to make like a spirally staircase that'll go all the way down. I'll make it out of slabs and this is gonna be painfully hard to do but hey I think it'll be worth it in the end I think it'll look beautiful also dolphins please stop you're stealing all my stuff there we go now we got our staircase that'll spiral all the way down now into a glass tube that'll lead all the way over here and you get to admire the ocean you know we appreciate the ocean on this channel a lot and then I got access to all the chests I might make like I don't know like an escape route like a flying thing I don't know to be able to like just you know with the firework and then now pretty much all that's left for this is to build up the actual mob farm which i want to build pretty high in the sky i mean they did raise the limit in minecraft to be really high and on top of that i don't want it to really be able to be seen like i just want there to just be falling <laughs> mobs in the courtyard of this castle you know just <laughs> falling down what's that sound effect <laughs> So now let's just climb up a few a bazillion blocks here. Here, instead of climbing this, let's see if I can actually just land up there. Uh-oh, <clears throat> uh-oh, uh-oh, uh, -oh, uh, -oh, uh -oh. All right, nice. <laughs> Let's say all the way up to the cloud should be high enough. Now all I need to do is essentially create the little pool section. Like every mob farm pretty much has that kind of just funnels them all down into a hole. It also means I could get rid of all the scaffolding. And I guess this is a good test to make sure that all the hoppers work down here. So let's just break that. And then imagine instead of scaffolding, it's mobs. And the only thing is that I realized on my way down here, um, I didn't actually <clears throat> finish setting up all the, uh, the redstone stuff because I need to name a bunch of items. Items, so yeah, now, now it's all gonna be stuck in the hoppers, I bet. That's unfortunate. That's fine, we can fix that later. Now all I need to do is basically just create a nice little platform all the way up here. That's eight blocks wide. That'll funnel all the mobs into the one hole. Then all I gotta do is fill it up with some water. And so now all the mobs are gonna just get funneled right down into this hole. I uh, completely forgot that I need to make a bunch of gates bam 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 blam 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 man 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 there we go and the only tough part is i need i need to get up on top of this gate stupid and now comes the beautiful part where all i need to do is essentially set down a dispenser go out about one two three four five six seven yeah sure we'll go out seven blocks feel like it's not seven but i also feel like it is so and essentially fill it all into that like diamond shape i feel like everyone's kind of built a farm like this before am i right <laughs> ones in the comments if that is true we got a bunch of farmers in the comment section and then essentially just build up a bunch of platforms that look just like this now with all the layers all built up now all i need to do is slap a big ugly roof on top of this thing so that obviously it'll be dark enough and all the mobs will then spawn now i need to do the redstone starting off by placing down a lever the comparator a little bit of dust and then a bunch of repeaters all the way down and now just to finish this thing off, I need to fill up a bunch of buckets with water and then very, very carefully put them in all the dispensers in this entire thing. But also one thing that I forgot, which was actually, I need to add um, <clears throat> observers. I think like that, I hope. Yeah, we'll find out. Essentially, I got to do that on every single level and it has mobs. So this is gonna be high risk, um, needless to say. Well, what's a little danger, you know? <laughs> A few moments later. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, danger. No, and now all I should need to do is basically flip this thing on. Then the timer will start. It starts dispensing water. And then now let's make sure real quick. Yep, it starts raining mobs down into there. They go down in the hole. And then lastly, down into the castle. Oh, this is beautiful. It's exactly what I dreamed of. You ever just get a vision in Minecraft and you're just like, yeah, that's, that's what I want to do today, you know? <laughs> 
And if I want it to be super OP, I can build like a little AFK spot a little ways up so that if I'm like, hey, I need some mob parts or, you know, I need some rotten flesh. I'm trying to get some emerald, you know, a little bit of that coin. And obviously more mobs will spawn the higher I am. So it's free real estate. Oh, Mr. Skelly, no. I guess the only thing is I do need to make the hopper section just like a smidge bigger because they're kind of like just barely missing. Um, Hey guys, it's time to come down. Goodbye. Let's see, can I get down there before them without dying preferably? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Beautiful. It's just magnificent. And now pretty much the only thing left to do is just decorate the courtyard a little bit because right now this is looking terrible, which we all know the best way to decorate things is with a little bit of magic. There we go. Now look at that beauty oh now it's so much better got some nice little pathways can easily just you know step in the the mob rain everything's all well lit once all the crops are all fully grown it's gonna be beautiful and if you guys think this build was beautiful make sure you guys smash that like button for me hit subscribe join the paul gg army because that's it for this video and i will see you guys in the next one